Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video I wanted to talk about uh, the Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. I re read it um, recently in my uh, spooky spooky summer reading vlog. Uh, but I wanted to go into it in a little bit more detail in this video. Um, talk a little bit more about my thoughts on it. Um, there will probably be a fair few spoilers in this video. Um, so you have been warned. Uh, the Final Girl Support Group is about um, final girls from uh, various horror movie type situations who have survived, like the final girl, and they are in a support group that meets once a month. Each of the characters are based off of um, various 80s and 90s slash slasher films, uh, so the character is Bye Bye Scream, Halloween, uh, uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, all of that kind of thing. Um, it's really kind of cool, like um, some of the names kind of went into reference, reference the movies that they were inspired by. Uh, so the girl inspired by Scream, her last name was Campbell, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and it's really fun kind of reading the um, little like you know, little nods to those movies. I really like those mo kinds of movies personally. So like, seeing some of the characters kind of being described in the books, in the book was kind of kind of interesting. And um, it was kind of fun being like, oh yeah, that I know that movie. Um, so uh, the so the final girl support group is a group of final girls who meet once a month uh, for a, like a therapy kind of group session. Um, they're all you know, learning to deal with their trauma um, and in this one, in this, um, the first meeting at the start of this book, uh, one of the girls has decided that she's going to stop attending and um, that has kind of led to everyone kind of everyone's kind of been wanting to leave for a while um but now they're worried that this is actually gonna um split up the group who have, who have this this one thing in common so um then it turns out um at this meeting that one of the members who hasn't shown up to this one has uh, been killed and um, the story then goes on to um, as the girls figure out who's behind it um, they all kind of become under attack and so there's uh, um, you know there's, so, so uh, they have to figure out who's behind it and uh, how to stop it basically so the final girls end up being kind of in this joint horror movie type of a thing together um, until there's well hopefully one one person standing left standing at the end um, so yeah there's kind of a bit of a mystery involved a bit of, a bit of a thriller because um, it's quite interesting the main character is a Lynette and she is um, not quite the typical final girl um, in that her circumstances and experiences were a little bit different um, but um, and she is clearly dealing with the, the trauma and post-traumatic stress of um, her experience and she's come up with a whole bunch of ways to escape uh, um, to go and uh, learn to deal with it kind of thing so initially I found her quite difficult to read um, she has this really long routine of how to get home and um, really drawn out and takes like hours and hours to get to a place and then get home again to make sure she isn't being followed um, which I get it, um, but it did make it a bit, a bit 
hard work to read it for, for, for some of it. Um, but in the end, I really did grow to like her. And she was one of my favourite characters in the book. I really liked how in the book they all kind of came together to figure this thing out and um, you know at the end they really did they really did have a good bond um, like a sister sisterly thing um, and very cool uh, very the, the, it was a very nice good book um, one of the things I really loved about it was uh, the illustrations um, on the chapters uh, at the end of each chapter there were like notes that were left on people's doors a uh, little bit uh, journal articles like newspaper articles from based on uh, these girls um, uh, trauma uh, and um, that was kind of cool, like little like snippets that related to the book but didn't at the same time. So there was like, um, you know, lots of like letters and things and newspaper articles and um, interviews that had been done um, that were, cool, that were, um, that related to each character. And it gave a little bit more insight and I just thought it was a really neat touch to add to the end of each chapter and make it a bit um, make it seem a bit um, more like this is like someone's journal kind of or um, like a publication of like this actual event um, so that's kind of how it felt I did find it a bit slow in parts. Um, I didn't um, always get along with the story. I wanted it a little bit more in some places. I felt like a lot had happened but nothing had happened for quite a while all at the same time. Like a lot was being described but nothing was really like happening. It took a while to get to a point where anything was really happening. The final sort of act was okay. Um, there was a twist that I didn't quite see coming that I thought was quite quite clever um, and I liked it. It I wasn't expecting uh, kind of who the, the culprit behind uh, the murders was. Um, so that was kind of cool, like, um, it made sense as to who was behind it and why, um, but I hadn't, like, it wasn't something I was easily able to predict. I did find that the kind of the last fight was a little bit, a bit slow, it wasn't, it wasn't super intense or like, it wasn't really a climax it just kind of happened and there were parts of it where I was a little bit bored um, kind of stopped caring for a little bit in there didn't really care who, li who lived and who didn't um, I just like I liked all of the characters and I definitely cared about them but at a point I just I wasn't particularly bothered if one of them died and yeah just that ending was the end ending was just so slow and just I didn't enjoy it at all um I will say it was a overall it was a good book um I gave it three and a half stars in the end um just because there were parts of the book where I was quite bored but then there were other parts that I really enjoyed so um it's firmly a middle 
middle ground for me. Um, but it was pretty good. This was my first Grady Hendrix book. I haven't read anything else by him yet. Mm -hmm.